Hello guys, it's me again, Rowi. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, we're gonna talk about funny things that I've learned in Germany. I'm so excited to share it with you because this is my personal experience and I find it really funny. First and foremost, ang kakambal natin sa banyo, tabo. We don't use tabo here. Instead, we use toilet paper kapag magto-toilet ka. Ganun din kapag nagsa-shower sila, walang tabo, but shower. And second thing, I just actually found out that it's quite easier to eat with knife and fork than spoon and fork. Kasi ang food dito is mostly pasta, meat, and pizza. Sa Pilipinas kasi ang pagkain natin is masabaw. Dito kasi medyo dry ang mga pagkain nila and karamihan meat. So it's easier for me to eat with fork and knife. And third thing, there is actually no rice in McDonald's. Naalala ko yung first time ko sa McDonald's, nag-order ako, nagtitingin ako sa menu, tapos ako na yung next, tapos tinanong ako nung, uh, nung cashier, so what's your order? Sabi ko, basta may sinabi akong rice, sabi niya, sorry we don't have rice here. Ay, bakit walang rice? <laughs> yun pala, ang replacement nila sa rice is fries. So, yan, walang, walang rice, but instead fries. So, fourth thing, kapag nabusog na kayo sa McDonald's, it's unpolite to burp. <gasps> <laughs> Very unpolite sa kanila. Kunyari, nagkakain kayo sa table together with your German friends tapos bigla kong nadig, nadig high. Eh, they find it really rude and disgusting. Hindi ba sa Pilipinas, kapag nagkakain kayo tapos bigla kong nadig high, it means that you are busog and you are you have to be thankful. Oh, thank thanks God na busog ako. Di ba? <laughs> dito, dito kapag nadig high ka, iiwasan ka. So, pang lima, I find it really funny kasi nung first time ko dito sa Europe, I find them like magkakahawig, magkakamukha kasi lahat sila matangkad, lahat maputi, lahat matangos yung ilong, and... Ang tingin ko lahat is guapo. And then after a while na realize ko ay hindi naman pala sila magkakabuka. Meron guapo at meron hindi. <laughs> Six. Pahirap na nang pahirap kasi pag gagamit ko na yung lahat na daliri ko. <laughs> yung pang anim. That they are not all mayaman. Meron ding four piece. <laughs> may four piece. Merong mayaman at may four piece. Kasi meron tayong impression sa uh, Pilipinas, di ba? Oh, kapag kapag mga European ang boyfriend mo, ang boyfriend mo ya yayaman ka. Mayaman ka na nakaangat na sa hirap. Huwag nang karon ka ng boyfriend na, na European or Americano. Well, that's not the truth. Merong mayaman at may four piece. Pang pito. That it's okay not to speak fluent English. Kasi dito sa Germany, you have to speak German. English is not a must. Kaya yung may mga grammar Nazi syndrome dyan, halikay dito sa Germany. Tingnan natin kung saan kayo pupulutin. Pangwalo, that snow can be annoying after a long time. Sa una, maganda siyang pagtingnan. Pumapatak mga puti. And then you, you are excited kasi sa Pilipinas, walang snow. Pero kapag tumagal na, nandun na sa kalsada, tapos hindi natutunaw, maputik, madumi, and then worse, madudulas. Dulas ka pa, hindi ka makakalakad ng mabilis. I find it really annoying kapag matagal na. Pero yung mga first week, okay lang. Pero kapag tumagal na ng second week, tapos hindi natutunaw, ay noko, nakakainis. Pang sham. That is okay not to use payong when it's hot. Dito sa Germany, kapag mainit, lumalabas ang mga Germans nagbibilad sa park. Sa Pilipinas, kapag mainit, may mga payong. Meron din dito mga park or mga islands that you are allowed to be naked. Pwede kang mag-sunbake doon. And yeah, eh, walang mali siya sa kanila yun. <laughs> so pag mainit, hindi, ka, hindi sila nagpapayong. But instead, lumalabas sila at nag-enjoy sa araw. And pang sampo. Ayan, nagamit ko na yung sampung daliri ko. Pang sampo. <laughs> Okay lang na hindi mo kakilala yung neighbor mo. Sa Pilipinas, we know everyone. Kahit malayong lugar na, kahit nandun sa ibang bayan, kilala natin kung sino or kung saan nakatira. Dito, I don't even know what's their name. I mean, nakikita ko lang yung mga pangalan nila dun sa doorbell, but I don't know them personally. I don't even say hello or minsan hindi ko nga nakikita sila. Pang 11, they don't have air conditions, but instead, heater. Hindi ka masasabihan ng nanay mo, isarado mo yung pinto, lalabas yung aircon. <laughs> Dito ang sasabihin sa'yo, isarado mo yung pinto, lalabas yung heater. Parang yung heater ay may paa. Especially kapag winter, yan, kailangan mo mag-heater. Kasi hindi mo talaga kakayanin kasi so sobrang lamig. So, basically, ang mga bahay dito is walang aircon. Heater lang. 12. That salad is not a dessert. Naalala ko ulit yung first time ko dito sa Europe, yung host family ko. Tapos sabi nila sa akin, Okay, Rowie, for dinner we have salad there. You can just 
grab it. And then pagpunta ko ng kitchen, wala na sila. Nagkahanap ako. Nasaan pa yung salad dito? Wala namang condensed milk, ng ganyan ganyan. Nasaan ba ako pa ako pa ba ang gagawa ng salad? Sabi nila ready na leafy vegetables la, mga fruits and mga kung ano-ano mga vegetables. Yun, <laughs> yung salad nila is iba. Hindi ko alam that time kung taga probinsya lang ba talaga ako or hindi ko lang talaga alam ang salad. So, ang salad nila is mix of everything like vegetables, fruits, leaves. Yeah, it depends kung anong gusto nila, kung anong trip nila sa salad. 13th that we also celebrate Christmas here. Yun nga lang, kapag nagsa-celebrate kami ng Christmas, hindi uh, from September. Kasi sa Pilipinas, not officially, mafe-feel mo na yung Christmas season kapag nag-start na ang September. And dito, hindi. Especially, para mag-atayo ka ng Christmas tree, they put Christmas tree three days, at least three days before the Pasko. Tinatanggal nila yung Christmas tree after Christmas, like two, three days after Christmas, sinatapon na nila. Sa ating pinatatagal pa hanggang Three Kings, di ba? <laughs> From September hanggang Three Kings, ayan, may Christmas tree tayo. Fourteenth, na kapag mag-grocery ka, kailangan mong magdala ng sarili mong bag. Kasi dito, hindi nila ini-encourage ang paggamit ng single-use plastic bag. And kapag mag-grocery ka, walang bagger. Ikaw mismo yung maglalagay ng pinamili mo sa bag. So, fifteenth, that we don't have walis ting-ting or tambo, but instead, we have vacuum. So, kapag napagalitan ka ng nanay mo, hindi ka mahampas ng walis tambo o walis ting-ting. Walang ganun dito. Pero, mapaparalyze ka. Kasi ang ipangahampas sa iyo, yung vacuum, mas mabigat yun. And 16, we don't have panyo. Instead, we use tissue paper. Especially kapag winter, parati ako merong tissue paper sa bulsa kasi parating runny nose and uh, minsan masakit sa mata. Especially kapag spring, ayan, maraming mga pollens. And especially kung, kung may allergy ka, ayan, kailangan mong parating may tissue paper. Hindi kami gumagamit ng panyo. Bakit kasi nasabi kong kami? Yun. <laughs> Ang mga Germans is hindi gumagamit ng panyo. And 17th, they don't have whitening pills but instead they have tan studio. So ang likas papaya, ang mga whitening pills, yung mga gluta tayo na yan, hindi yan dito pwede. <laughs> hindi yan yung epekto sa mga Germans. So kapag brown ka dito, yung sinasabi nila lang, exotic, ayan, exotic ka. <laughs> hindi, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta ng tan studio and they, they will envy your skin being brown. Pang 18th, that going to Starbucks to drink coffee is a sin. Kasi dito, dito, hindi uso ang Starbucks. Konti lang yung Starbucks dito sa Europe. I think it's an American thing. And uh, yeah, kapag pupunta ka, kapag gusto mo mag-coffee, we go to a regular coffee shop and then we eat cakes together with coffee. Yan. And uh, Italian coffee are really good. It's far, far way better than Starbucks. Kasi ang Starbucks is mostly sugar and ang mga coffee shops dito is like mga is Italian coffee and it's really good. I really love coffee and I really I really don't go to Starbucks. I, I mean may mga Starbucks uh, coffee shops dito pero ang mga pumupunta lang is mga tourist, karamihan tourist and mga yeah, yung mga Germans is uh, they would rather go to a local coffee shop than going to Starbucks. And second to the last, that if you are going to a party, you have to pay for your own food and drink. Especially kapag na-invite ka ng birthday party, for example. Ibibivide nila yan sa kung ilang tao kayo. Hindi, hindi ibig sabihin, you are invited to a party, to a birthday party, for example, sa restaurant, that they will pay everything for you. No, dito, ididivide yan kung ilan kayo, kung anong kinain nyo, kung anong inom nyo, unless sinabi ng celebrant na, okay, I will pay for the food or for the drinks or I will pay for everything. Don't, dun ka lang mag-expect na libre yung food. Pero ka, unless, hindi sinabi, no, sorry, you have to pay for your own food, hindi nito uso ang palibre. And panghuli, that you cannot just pop up in someone else's place. Kailangan mo munang tumawag or mag, magpa-appointment ka kung pwede ka bang dumalaw sa ganitong oras o ganitong araw. Hindi ka tulad sa Pilipinas, okay, mag-ring ka lang sa, sa, sa doorbell kahit anong oras, okay lang. Dito, you need an appointment kahit sa kaibigan mo. Kasi maybe they are busy or maybe they are doing something else or wala sila sa bahay. So, yun. You have to ask permission for everything here in Germany. So, that's it. But the list goes on and on and on. So, yun lang yung mga personal experience ko and I think it's funny to share. At least meron kang idea kung um, ano yung difference ng German and Filipinos. So, that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. And if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you again next time.
Bye.